let's take a look at what kind of hand calculations one can do of the expected results. We can estimate the reaction and the axial direction with which the nozzle will be pushing on the frictionless support. We can estimate the hoop stress, that is the circumferential stress, and I'll get to that. We can estimate the thermal strain. This is an input into the model and the resulting deformation. And that we will get to later when we apply the thermal strain into the model. We can also do a bolt preload adjustment estimate um, and using, using this, this particular formula over here. And this assumes that the, the flanges are infinitely rigid. And in this case, I, you know, that's not the case. There's quite a bit of uh, deformation in the flanges. And so that, that hand calc doesn't work out all that well. Um, I won't be covering that hand calc over here in the interest of time. So let's go to the reaction in the axial direction. Let me switch to the pen. So if I have a cross section through the nozzle, okay, that looks something like that. Pardon my chicken scratch. And I have the pressure over here. Due to this pressure, the nozzle is being pushed up and so, and we have a frictionless support, so we're going to get a reaction from the frictionless support in the Z direction, so that's Z. The, the reaction will be in the negative Z. And we can estimate that uh, from the pressure. In fact, that, that uh, force zero, the pressure is going to be, um, the average pressure times the projected area. So if you project it, uh, project this area onto a plane like that, you will see, you know, you'll get concentric. Circles and so it's basically the projected area is that area. So we'll just assume, you know, we'll just work with an average gas pressure. Um, this is the top radius, this is the bottom radius. And then we can calculate the project, this projected area from those two radii in this form. And from that, we can calculate the net force in the Z direction, or in the negative Z direction, net reaction force. Uh, so the reaction is going to be in that direction. So that has to balance the pressure, which is the average pressure, the pressure load, which is the average pressure times the projected area. Now in our case, we have a half a bolt, you know, so we've gone from 200 volts to half a bolt. So we have one four hundredth of the model. And so we expect our reaction in the axial direction to be of the order or in the, Z in the minus Z direction to be of the order of 700 pounds.